Hi, I'm Jim Johnston and welcome to Savannah, Georgia. If you're looking for a home and low country style is of interest to you, then one settler's point is definitely worth being on your short list. This three bedroom, two and a half bath, low country style home was constructed in 2003 and has a lot to offer for bang for the buck. So come inside and take a look with me. No low country home is complete without a big sweeping front porch. And this front porch is about 40 feet long Perfect for rocking or drinking a cold beer on a sunny afternoon or a glass of iced tea. And the inside's even prettier. Come on in. Low Country Living is all about big rooms, spacious living, and spreading things out so you can enjoy the world. The living room in this home is really wonderful. It's got dual set of French doors that go to an open deck across the back, fireplace, beautiful heart of pine floors, stunning place to raise a kid and enjoy living. Okay, so you've got a dinner party going on. So how do you keep the kitchen noise out of the living room? Well, you do it with French doors, which I think are the best invention next to sliced cheese. Uh, this kitchen has a lot of features, which I love a lot. Number one, lots and lots of light. Windows throughout, French doors to the back deck, um, beautiful painted enamel wood floors, which makes everything look brighter inside as well. Tons of lighting throughout, Corian counters, butcher block in the middle. And it's, in essence, this is one of the most usable kitchens I've seen in a long time. It's great for entertaining and it's particularly easy to cook for your family day in, day out. Okay, if you can't have two French doors, at least have half of one. So I still love having doors to separate kitchens and dining rooms because it keeps the heat and the noise out, which is great. This dining room is a perfect size, about 12 by 12 if I measure it properly. Uh, the pine floors continue throughout. It's very bright and airy, perfect for entertaining. With low country design, you raise the house up on stilts to help increase airflow under the house during the summertime when it's really hot here in the south. But it also has a nice little added benefit. It gives you built-in garages under your house. This house has not two, but three great parking spaces underneath. So you get the added benefit of the airflow, plus you get tons of parking down below. But still, my best feature of all with low country homes are the porches. Nothing makes a home more than a porch. And this home has not one, but two wonderful porches for rocking in the afternoon, the spring and fall, and the summertime, and enjoying a nice cool drink. The master bedroom is located on the same level as the main part of the house. So on this level, you have master bedroom with ensuite bathroom, of course, another guest bathroom outside. You've got the living room, dining room, and kitchen all on this level. So if you're single, or if it's just two of y'all, it's so easy to live all on one floor. Right off the master bedroom is a large size and well-proportioned master bath. It has a lot of the features you're looking for. It has dual vanity, it has water closet, linen closet, um, large walk-in shower, footed tub, and huge walk-in closet. Okay, so what do you do if you're planning on having children or you already have kids? Well, what do you do with them? You banish them to the second floor. You send all the kids upstairs. There's two nice-sized bedrooms upstairs, plus there's a full-size bath and a great landing as well, which you can put a desk at or a rocking chair, whatever you want to. This whole area is actually quite useful. It's a great addition to the first floor, making it family perfect. Welcome to my pink castle. Okay, obviously it's not a pink room, but it has a lot of girly things in it because the owners have a new baby girl. However, the room is still good proportions, basic neutral color gray walls, and white trim. It's a great second bedroom. The third bedroom upstairs has great proportions as well. It's very well laid out. It's right off the uh, center area in the hallway and has a great closet space to boot. I've seen some large garages in my life, but this thing takes the cake. You could put very possibly three SUVs in here and they're all gonna easily fit. In addition to being wide, it's also very deep. It's L-shaped, so it wraps around the corner. So you can put back there a workbench, treadmill, treadmill, anything you wanna put back there that you need to store downstairs or use, which is great. Um, it's also got a half bath, which is a great feature because it allows you the ability, if you're out working in the yard in the summertime, you're all covered in grass and dust, you can come use the restroom. It's also got a man cave. I'm not gonna show you the man cave, it's too manly, but trust me, it's a man cave downstairs as well. All that comes together to give you one very usable space that's more than just a garage. One Settler's Point offers a compelling value if you're looking for a home right now. Located in one of Savannah's most respected subdivisions, Dutch Island is definitely worth being on your short list. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, great interior layout, great three car garage down below, front and back porch, dimension great neighborhood. It's definitely worth being on your short list. To arrange a showing, contact me at the information that follows on the next screen or contact your real estate professional and reference the MLS number we show. Thank you.